Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me to visit this magnificent Ferrari collection here in Dubai. It's almost like a museum, but this is a privately owned collection of cars with some incredibly rare and very special Ferraris that I didn't actually know about before now as well. But what I particularly like that you're going to see as we explore and walk around is some of the memorabilia and display items like that right behind me, all of which are original rare themselves and in many cases original Ferrari too. This is a very very special place so let's get exploring and take a look around. I'm going to start by taking you for a quick walk around so that you can get a feel for what this collection is all about. Then we'll go through the cars themselves in more detail, but they're all rare and special editions. And then I want to pick out some of the merchandise and memorabilia that lines the walls and is on display, because that's to me what really makes a collection very special. And in here, there is so much of it to see. The cars themselves only represent a fraction of the owner's full Ferrari collection, some other cars being stored over in Europe and used on different events but just feast your eyes around here there are some very special cars and also back here is an awesome lounge kind of chill out area as well which really makes it such a cool man cave it's my dream Ferrari man cave and certainly this kind of style is exactly what I love to see and explore in more detail so let's go into the cars starting right here the centerpiece is a Ferrari Formula One car an original Formula One car one of Michael Schumacher's cars and in fact beside it the mannequin is even wearing a Schumacher helmet signed on the visor as well which is a lovely thing to have right center stage inside this room so to go through the different cars let's start right here on the left this is a Ferrari 512BB, except it's a Koenig version. Now, only five of these were ever made, and it's believed just three of them survived to this day. So we're already starting off with one of, one of just three, potentially, in the whole world. And the differences you'll notice with this are the lower bumpers, the different body uh, package that comes from Koenig over the original car, which has black lower sections. Then on the right-hand side, this Ferrari F355 Spider is actually one of the last 100 units called the Fiorano version and out of those 100 it's even rarer still because inside here you will notice the gated manual of which only 17 were made the other 83 are all with the f1 style gearbox so i didn't really know what that was but it has a number of differences some firmer suspension and it's one of just 17 cars what a rare way to get things started then coming behind that we have the 512 m so the 512 m differs from the tr and the testarossa visually in the sense of the headlights you can spot the headlights and the bumpers are ever so slightly different uh, the slightly later version overall and then on the left hand side a car i particularly like seen here in a style that you don't normally see is the 550 Barchetta now the 550 itself was a Berlinetta with a fixed roof the Barchetta is normally a permanent convertible but it's shown here with the hard top that you physically have to remove there's no folding roof mechanism but basically a front engined uh, v12 naturally aspirated engine in there you can see the manual gated uh, gearbox again and normally you'd be open to the elements just imagine exploring around Italy in that car one of my favorite kind of form factors now behind that three cars that stand out I think an awful lot particularly that one but to start us at the left is the 599 GTO now the GTO launched back at around the same time that I started my YouTube channel so I used to love filming these cars 660 horsepower naturally aspirated v12 again has the f1 style gearbox but it took the 599 GTB and dialed things up quite significantly the third car to wear the GTO name after the 250 the 288 then the 599 standing for Gran Turismo Omologato but this was a hardcore car that could still do grand touring with the engine in the front and a lot of luggage space at the back then in the middle probably needs no introduction at all the La Ferrari standing for the Ferrari their latest hybrid hypercar 499 units then a 500th was made after that and additionally just over 200 Apertas have since been released Aperta meaning convertible but with the 6.3 litre naturally aspirated v12 the Kurs hybrid system on top of that making 963 horsepower out of the La Ferrari now talking of Apertas that brings us to this car one of my favorites ever if 
If you're not familiar with it, it's the Ferrari SA Aperta. It was a tribute to Pininfarina. They made just 80 of them originally, although I believe it went on to be a few more after that. But think of it as a mix of the 599 GTB with the engine of the 599 GTO and no roof, or rather a removable soft top that you physically lift away. So it's the same 660 horsepower rather than the normal 600 you had in the GTB, but in a convertible. Engine up front, the bodywork is that of the normal car, and a couple of owners changed to put the GTO style bonnets on uh, to make them look a little bit more aggressive. But basically, I love this styling. I love the design of it. I love the way they integrated this. It has a soft top roof panel that you kind of install and fit, but you can only drive the car up to about 80 miles an hour when you've got that fitted. So you can't go for a full blast. But what you do have is a very large amount of luggage space back here and a beautiful looking car. I'm a big fan of this. I really, really, really like it. Very special, very rare, and now worth an awful lot of money as well. And in fact, it was my dream back when they came out. I was, how on earth could that be possible even to pick up a used one when they were commanding big premiums at the time? They've just doubled since then, as Ferraris tend to do so. Now, if you're wondering what's going on here, this car is actually just being PPF'd and prepared for an event that's about to be taking place. But let's move now to the Scuderia 16M. So the 430 Scuderia was the hardcore uh, track version of the F430, you could say. 16M celebrated Ferrari's 16th Formula One World Championship. A run of 499 of the Spider version was all they made. And as well as wearing the 16M badge there, it also has a uh, plaque back here to commemorate the occasion and its success. Next to that, the 360 Challenge Stradale. To be honest, seeing a full black Challenge Stradale is quite a rare car. That's the hardcore version of the uh, 360 Modena uh, back at the time, the previous generation to the uh, 430. So we've already been through some pretty limited and special cars back here. The last two to finish off the cars that are on display right now. This is a California T handling speciale package, but it's finished in a tailor-made livery to tri pay tribute to a 250 GTO in the silver with the yellow stripe. And if you look at the interior, this is an example of what Ferrari can do with interiors. The tailor-made um, period style leather for the seats, the luggage that you have behind, even the painting of that central tunnel uh, element to match with the exterior. And I think it wears a plaque back here as well. Yes, tailor-made commission of this car. So before Ferrari then went and made um, the different cars for the 70th anniversary, the 350 special cars they made of five different models, 70 each in different liveries. This was a complete one-off at the time. Then beyond that is the 365 uh, GTB Lusso, maybe correct me if I'm wrong on the name, in immaculate condition, Ferrari Classic A certified, so fully uh, maintained, restored, and kept immaculately. So from the car point of view, it's not a bad place to be. But let's start taking a look around some of the other things that are here. He says, standing in front of an engine. And some security guards, by the way, which are quite fun to have around as well. So there are a number of engines. This is, what is it, a Ferrari F2002 engine, Formula One car of the time. Looks stunning to be so close to it. But you just explore, look at this. Made from gears and parts, the prancing horse, steering wheels, exhaust tips, dioramas with model cars all over the place, a TV playing different Ferrari movies and scenes as well. All of these different pieces. I'm just learning as I go, a piston, Formula One, <laughs> in a vice, um, the 599 GTO, and another one. Um, steering wheels, exhaust tips, brake discs, batteries, exhaust sound systems. Oh, that's cool. I've seen that before, very, very nice. Um, I, I, this, is, this is what I love about a car collection, seeing through all of these, seeing how much effort goes into making it such a special and unique collection. And also you probably noticed the front end of an F1 car up there hanging on the wall as well. FXX in here. And as I mentioned, this is just a part of the owner's full Ferrari collection. Many more cars dotted around the world, ready for different events and things that are taking place. And this horse was actually a recent uh, addition to the garage, if we just come around and look at that. It's original, it's actually a Ferrari piece. It is a Rosso Corsa horse with an exhaust system coming out of the side. Um, Cavallino Rosso, with a little bit of information about it just down there, but he tires with a model inside them. The amalgam models, the beautiful amalgam models, the LaFerrari, more dioramas all around. These take so much time, effort, and work to prepare and make and have everything built and displayed. 
and it's so, so cool to be able to have a look around and take it all in. A model size, a, a small size Alfa Romeo car wearing the Scuderia shields, of course, the racing back at the time. Look at that, the alligator and the dog down there. I don't know what most of these pieces that I'm looking at are. All I know is that they're really special and really beautiful. 250 GTO uh, on display there, 458 Italia back there. Another engine we have here, more pieces dotted below. That's a particularly large model of the F430 on display there. So this is, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. The, the, the artwork's on the walls. This is an original Ferrari piece as well. Maybe you can just see the prancing horse in black on the inside, hard with the lights behind. But again, a special, special unit. All the cars sitting uh, on their trickle chargers. Of course, this is the charger for the LaFerrari uh, to keep the hybrid system powered. Wow though, just absolute wow. If we come back through here, this I love. This is one of just seven pieces. F40s chopped in half as a piece of art. And I actually think that's really, really nice. I like that an awful lot. Another engine block behind some newspaper cuttings up there. If we come around this way, well, oh, there's another one here, smaller one. I think that's one of 75 uh, of the smaller size cut F40s. Just everything, just all of these parts, even a fender panel worn up there, brake calipers some trophies and different bits and pieces of memorabilia. A lot going on. Then if we come through this way, look, even a Ferrari uh, Pininfarina coffee machine with the coffee cups on top. That's very nice as well. Formula One cars, models on display, amalgam replica steering wheel from a Ferrari car. <laughs> look at that. It's almost a chopped in half uh, LaFerrari. This is all, I mean, this is absolute dream. Now look at this. This is a lovely piece of art to have on the wall back here. Wow, this is Ferrari heaven. Michael Schumacher tribute piece here. This is absolute heaven to look around. Stunning, spectacular, spectacular things worn on the walls here. Different parts of, of a model. I'm gonna come just through so you can get a view from upstairs. Look down over this. Feast your eyes over this fabulous fabulous collection. I didn't even point out that there's another uh, small scale car here as well. And then upstairs, just more Ferrari merchandise. Really and truly the most special of special Ferrari collections here. This is breathtaking. This is a total dream. Everything is so well thought out. Look at this. Prancing horse uh, head there at the top of the spiral. And then the cars. The cars are so nice. I think if I had the opportunity to take um, one car away, one of the full-size scale cars rather than the model cars today to go for a drive. I've never driven an SA Aperta and I would really like to. I'd imagine that would be absolutely incredible. I've been lucky enough to drive the LaFerrari um, before now and some of the other models, but really and truly, this is a very special place and it's a huge thanks to the owner that I've been able to come down today and show you guys the part of the collection that's on display here with all of its parts. Some of these things I need to read just to see what they are. An exhaust pipe from a 2001 car. Just everything. Just, just absolutely, well and truly everything. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this is as impressive for you guys as it is for me. The Ferrari garage and collection here. Mind blown, astonishing. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support as always. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, like the video, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Cheers. I would also like to say a special shout out to Brian's Custom Audio. A lot of the cars here are fitted with Brian's audio systems, but a big thanks to him and to the owner as well for the opportunity. Really very special. Thanks again, guys. Cheers.